Hey guys, Shanka here. I hope you guys are well. So guys, what I wanted to do was cover off this topic, how to sell yourself. Now, a lot of people hate the word sales or selling. Uh, they start to cringe and they don't like the salesman. But I love sales. I think that uh, sales is the be all and end all for everybody. I think that it is the backbone of yourself, not only yourself, but for businesses. So you need to make sure that you are quite good at selling yourself. So let me jump right into it. So how do you sell yourself effectively? So number one, it's all in the answer. And what do I mean by that? So what you wanna think of is when a recruiter is asking you a question uh, that could be around your particular role. So what you wanna try and do is remember what was the job that you applied for? So for example, let's just say that it was a business analyst role um, and in that role it was uh, a manufacturing type client. Uh, they are in an agile practice uh, and they were working on a project on how to improve processes. So essentially what you wanna try and do now hoping that you do have the relevant experience and that's why you've applied, what you wanna try and do is draw back on that particular experience. So remembering the job description and also what you've done in previous roles. So what you wanna do is, so during my time at this particular organization, which was a manufacturing organization, we were working in an agile environment. So what we were trying to do was, we noticed that there was a slow process in the way that the products were being made and created from picking to packing. So what we did is we tried to identify the pain points or the blockages that were stopping the product being manufactured faster and then getting straight out to the pack and picking delivery. So what I did there was I knew from that job description that the client was a manufacturing client. I knew that they were an agile environment and I was talking about a process improvement project that I worked on. So these are the ways that you are subtly bragging about what skill sets you have, but also tailoring back to that job description. So keep that in mind. So what you're trying to do is use whatever is in that job description or that job profile that you're looking at and use subtle things that would then uh, enhance your chances or make you look good that you already know what is expected of this role. Now, number two, it goes without saying you need to have good communication skills, right? If you have poor communication skills, say for example, that you are speaking quiet on the phone or you are not trying to, or you're not able to convey the message that you are trying to say effectively and efficiently, you know, that will score negatively when we are conducting that phone interview. So you want to present well. So what do I mean by that? Speak clearly, speak confidently, that you know that you are talking about the type of things that you know confidently. And if you don't know things uh, quite confidently, leave that alone, okay? Now, number three. So attitude gets you a long, long way, guys. It doesn't matter. Say, for example, you were uh, not the best at process improvement or you weren't the best for this particular role. You still want to have an upbeat personality because it shines through the phone. Even though we can't see you, we can definitely hear you and if you say no look look i don't actually have the experience about this but i'm really eager to learn you, we might not select you for this particular role but we will keep you in mind or we will write notes on your profile to say this person was really bubbly uh, they had the right attitude and the the know-how and once a particular role may come about that we think well maybe we can give this person a go you will be front of mind so keep these three tips in mind Guys, if you have any more questions or you are struggling, let me know and I will do my best to help. Thank you.